now, the master of disaster, the chief of grief, a man who needs no introduction but who will brutally torture me if he doesn't get one, Dr. Shankoy! Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. And I'm nuts. But I want to welcome you all to my annual pre-evil science fair party. My girlfriend, Jacqueline, you know, she may seem like a shallow, <laughs> conniving wretch. That's all I got. That pretty much sums her up. A toast to the undefeated winner of 17 evil science fairs and the greatest evil genius in the world. Bow for the king! The greatest evil genius in the world. I remember when people used to call me that, back when the clouds destroyed our peaceful land of farmers, and my plan to blackmail the world saved us all. Yes. Yeah. as you've told us all, over and over and over. Yeah, well, here's more. Did you know that years ago, Shotty's family name was Polkelmacher? His family were pickle makers. <laughs> So, what's your evil invention this year, Doctor Kosher or Dill? I want to shove a pickle right where the sun don't shine. You mean malaria, Master? No matter how many evil science fairs I win, I always have to bow down to that idiot. I will never get the respect he gets. Respect? Respect isn't gonna keep me in baby seal boots. <laughs> You just need to keep on winning. But that is spoken like a true worthless leech who, by the way, still has not helped me steal this year's winning invention. You know, maybe if you were a real scientist, you wouldn't need me to help you cheat every year. <laughs> Your whole lab is fake. Just like you. And maybe I should throw you back in the gutter where I found you. You're one to talk, Dr. Schadenfraud. You don't have the guts. <gasps> Go! <gasps> oh. <laughs> Is Daddy still mad at me? Mm, no. But you and your friend Heidi still have a little job to do. <laughs> oh. We're trying. Well, try a little bit harder. Because this year, I won't <laughs> stop at just winning the evil science fair. I'm gonna unleash my winning invention on the king's smug little face. And then he'll be the one groveling at my feet. You're not like my dear. Look, it's your little girlfriend, Heidi. You take a cocoa break, and I'll guard your plans for your new invention. No, wait, you're spilling my plans. Heidi, you're not careful yeah. enough. You're too sloppy sometimes. Oh, Pumpkin, I went to the evil bookstore and got you an inspirational poster. It's a little kitten to remind you to always take time in your day for a little torture. My transducer! Time to go! I have no time for cuckoo or kittens. I have to work on my plans alone and in secret. In other words, bon voyage. Who doesn't like tortured kittens? I, I like kittens. I don't like dirty little hunch people. Great. Jordan Freud's gonna kill me. 